Here's a constant product curve x times y equals L square and the curve for the real reserves. If the price was to move from P of A to P of B, then this much amount of token X will exit the pool. In other words, for the price to move from P of A to P of B, we need this much amount of token X. We'll call this amount X0. Similarly, if the price was to move from P of B to P of A, then this much amount of token Y will exit the pool. In other words, for the price to change from P of B to P of A, we will need this much amount of token Y. We'll call this amount Y of 0. But what is the exact amount of X0 and Y0? So in this video, we'll figure out what X0 and Y0 are. So recall from the previous video that we derived the equation for the real reserves curve. And you see it over here. Using this equation, we'll be able to solve for X0 and Y0. Let's start by solving for X0. Here I've copied the equation from over here. To solve for x0, let's plug in x0 for x sub r. Remember that x sub r is a variable. So when x sub r is equal to x0, when x sub r is at this point, then what is the value for yr? Well, if we trace the line over here, we know that yr must be equal to 0. So when xr is equal to x0, then yr must be equal to 0. And now we can do a simple algebra to solve for x0. So I'm going to remove this yr. Next, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by l times the square root of p of a. The l on the top and the l on the bottom cancels out. And finally, I'll bring this over to the right. And we have our final equation for x0. x0 is equal to l divided by the square root of p of a minus l divided by the square root of p of b. This is the amount of token x that is needed between the price ranges P of A to P of B given the liquidity L. Okay, let's also solve for Y0. Again, we'll start by copying this equation over to the right. And then for YR, we'll plug in Y0. When YR is equal to Y0, what is XR? Well, let's take a look. When YR is equal to Y0, we'll be over here. And the X component will be equal to 0. So XR will be equal to 0. When yr is equal to y0, xr will be equal to 0. So let's simplify this equation. I'll paste the code over here, and then we can remove the xr, and we're left with this equation. We can divide both sides of the equation, so this will come over to the right. And on the right side of the equation, now we can cancel out the l on the top and the l on the bottom. And this square root of p of b will come to the top minus L times the square root of P of A from both sides of the equation. So this will come over to the right with a minus sign. And now we have that Y0 is equal to L times the square root of P of B minus L times the square root of P of A. This is the amount of token Y that is needed between the price ranges P of B to P of A given the liquidity L. 